Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons, and Dragons or D and D. A name synonymous with fantasy, funny shaped dice, and it's a fantasy role playing game. A bunch of people get together and tell a collaborative narrative. The Dungeon story. Master or Game Master, if you like clay in your soup, is the mind behind the magic and who decides just about everything that happens in the game. Okay, I got it working. What oh, did you cool. What did you need it for? Hey, Max. Hey. I play D&D mostly for fun. I mean, I find it fun and interesting to interact with this fantasy world. The storylines are always interesting to develop. Um, playing side by side along friends in this dynamic changing world is, for me is loads of fun. It's mostly why I play. I've known about it forever, but I finally caught wind of a campaign going on. And then I basically invited myself in, and that's how it started. This is a group. I've just finished DMing. The DM is, it's a dynamic job. I mean, some people even say it's like a part-time job with the amount of work you put in. There's no Dungeons and Dragons in real life, so to enter this completely new world that's constantly changing and is constantly responding to how you act is, for me, massively interesting. I'm a massive gamer, of course, so any fantasy RPG game, classic Skyrim, Dragon Age, all set you up perfectly for D&D. A half a DM's work, even more than half a DM's work, is just outside preparing. And then once you're in the game, you have to you have to be able to improvise and adapt. And sometimes the stuff you prefer just doesn't even happen. I think it's become more accessible, definitely. In recent years, with things like D&D Beyond, it's become way, way more accessible. And now what was a daunting game has now been distilled into this online experience that is easy and has all the information there for you to use. Yeah guys, do you want to play D&D with me? Um, uh, maybe another time. Hey girls! Hey, so, would any of you like to play D&D with me? Like, Dungeons and Dragons, like a, a role play to make it, yeah. Um, yeah, I've done those campaigns together. Let's do it. Well, uh... Do I have any of you to Okay, hey, what are you doing? So, who, who are you texting next? Oh, um, well, there's just this guy called Josh, who um, sounds pretty interested. I've not met him before, but um, he sounds pretty interested in playing with us. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really... I mean, if we bump into anyone else, so... Um, hey. sorry, uh, are you busy? No, we're just... You're right, we bumped into each other earlier, didn't we? Yeah. Are you the guys to talk about that? The, you know, D&D Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you interested? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, just send me a message and then we can, um, we can do that. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Uh, thanks. Uh, what's your name, sorry? I'm... Hi. Hi. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh, Nick, right? Nick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, cheers. Yeah, cool. See ya. Um, what, what are your thoughts? What do you think we're gonna? I'm uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Oh, you're filming already. Yeah, we're, hey, I, I didn't know whether this was the right you're, time to yeah, speak yeah, yeah. I'm V. I'm playing an elf wizard called Maeve. Uh, she's pretty cool. Um. My first campaign I ran online, so I found the group through D and D Beyond. There's a forum page where I basically just put out a post. And I was like, does anyone want to play D and D with me? And I got quite a few responses actually. And since then, you know, we've been playing D and D. We've hung out online. It's like roleplay gives you a chance to like explore who you are outside of real life, which can be pretty dull and boring. And so I'm kind of projecting everything that I can't be in real life onto the character, which is yeah, whatever. I also wasn't sure. If oh. I'm Josh. Cool. Um, and what um, character are you interested in playing? For uh, I'm playing. I mean, a human fighter. Human fighter. Sure. And I've never really played before, so I just 
I guess. I think it'd be more like just be simple. I don't really have nothing else to do. And you came over to like the group just talking, you guys wanna play D D. No one really said anything but I thought about it. Just like, yeah, why not? Okay, um My name is Kai. Cool. And then um, what character do you think you're gonna be playing in our session? Um well a dragon Dragonborn? Dragonborn, yeah, yeah. 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 That's that's the one that I picked. I just heard about it um, online and stuff. I mean, normally I wouldn't pay this kind of thing at all, but, you know, this is just a one off for me. Actually, Jacob, do you want to come to that as well? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hi, my name is Jacob. And um, what are you going to play? Um, a gnome bard. I think they're really cool and I really resonate with gnomes. What do you know about DD so far? Um, oh, not much, you know, what I really know is it's a tabletop RPG started in the 1970s based on war games, but overall with a less of focus on combat, more character driven, different races, you know, elves, gnomes, dragonborn, tiefling, Asimov, you know, just, just stuff like that, you know, just the basics. Have you been doing some research? No, 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 I'm just, I'm just a, I'm just a dedicated friend. Um, what do you think of everyone else you're playing with so far? Uh, seem alright. Don't really know them that well. They seem alright. <laughs> I don't know them very well, but yeah, everyone seems nice. I think they know a lot more about this game. Than... Well, I think the uh, the elf and the dragonborn are quite interesting. I don't know about the about human fighter. That sounds that sounds kind of lame. So I'm very excited to be the DM for the first time, uh, but it also comes with a lot of pressure. Introducing a new group of players uh, is quite scary, but I'm hoping it will be thrilling for me and for the rest of them. Um, going into this, my new group, I know Jacob. Jacob is one of my best friends at college, kind of the only person I really hang out with. But the others I don't really know very well. Um, and I'm looking forward to get stuck in and making new relationships with them. So, um, what are you doing now? So, I am now going to plan the session. So, for the main DM, I need to have a, a story idea. So, recently I decided to move schools and start afresh on a course that seemed more interesting to me, um, as it was what I wanted to do for a career. This meant leaving a lot of my old friends behind, which was a, a big change, and I struggled for a while. I went back to what I used to do with my friends at my old school, and tried to pick up playing Dungeons and Dragons again. I'd been a player in a couple of sessions, but I wanted to take on the responsibilities of being the Dungeon Master to try and introduce a new group and create a new community. So, here goes. What did you think then? <laughs> it was great. Like I haven't played like a session in such a long time, so it was really great to get back into it. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, no, it was actually really fun, yeah. I loved it so much. That's the most fun I've had in ages. It's great just chatting with people and sort of getting to know them. I guess it's cool to meet new people. Yeah, I thought it was super creative and a really good way to express yourself in a more confident way. So it's good to have other friends, you know, other than, than just you. I think it was definitely a helpful opportunity. Just general story. I watched Critical Role, Dimensions, I think it's been really good to meet people who play with you. Great. I really like it. I know that I'm quite a lot of fun. Dimensions are amazing for us. I've seen Stranger Things, but playing the actual physical game, that doesn't happen to the channel, so it's never happened to the channel. I've been watching Lord of the Rings and Hobbit series. He's a good guy who I wouldn't have met. I always think of me. Yeah, I mean, it's always with the pandemic, people subconsciously know. There's also a worst-less time for us. And it's quite hard to do just to find the world. And it's quite hard to do just to find the world. And it's quite hard to do just to find the world. And it's quite hard to do just to find the world. And
about Sir James Bond? I'd say just sort of get into so uh, even if you have to be a character completely off the you know, really sort of in any game that you know you um, play with people can really bring you closer together. I seduced the wizard. Yeah, come on, seduce the wizard. Alright, you're gonna do me. Twenty!